creating wealth, freedom, and security using real estate investing. This is Get Real Wealthy. Today we're going to be talking about finding great opportunities. There is a lot of different opportunities out there to take advantage of as a real estate investor. Your job is to know and be able to understand how to find a solution to a problem and create value. In this episode, we're going to talk about apartment buildings and we're going to talk about hidden opportunities. So let's think about this from a net operating income perspective. In order to create value in an apartment building, you need to increase the net operating income. The net operating income is basically the income minus the expenses before debt. So if we're looking to increase the net operating income of a building, then we want to find opportunities that allow us to do that. So we're going to look at uh, five of those. So number one, below market rent. As it relates to the value of a building, below market rent can be an easy way to increase the value of the building. If you're not purchasing the property on projected rents, but you're looking at, at what the current rents are, you are able to take advantage of the spread between current rents and what the projected rents should be. So in a market like Ontario, where you have rent control, which only benefits the tenants who are currently in the units, what ends up happening is you create a distorted market and that distorted market makes it challenging for new tenants. And it also makes it challenging for people to produce new units because there isn't the motivation to do so. So finding below market rents with the ability to increase those rents is something that we want to, to take advantage of and look at as an opportunity when buying rental property. Number two is the absence of quality property management. You wouldn't think this was the case, but disorganization, lack of routine repairs, all the things that you don't want to see because perhaps the property manager is the owner of the building. That makes it easier for you to come in with professional management and take over that building and solve those problems. Maybe it's those problems that are leading the seller to sell the property. Number three, tenant management issues. You have uh, owners or property managers that are not pushing out illegal actions. So you have drug dealing or you have other issues that are happening at a property and the uh, property management or the owner is not taking actions. Uh, other actions could be, you know, not dealing with late payments, uh, not evicting tenants when they should be. So all of those tenant management issues are issues that a good investor can solve. And by solving those issues, you are able to purchase a property, perhaps with a lower price, in order to take on those issues, solve them, and then get a better price on those uh, assets. Number four, poor records management. I've seen this with a lot of mom and pa owners. They can't find the bills, they can't find the, the leases, they can't find anything. And that poor record management could mean a potential opportunity for you, particularly if you know how to solve the problem. So for example, if you don't have leases, could you get tenant acknowledgements in place that are signed by both the owner and the tenant in order to acknowledge what the rents are, what the um, side agreements are, if any, and who is paying for what, utilities, etc. There are ways to solve those issues, but being able to understand how to do that is what you do as a real estate investor. And the more issues that you can solve, the more money you can make. Number five, another issue I see is letting properties get run down and neglecting routine maintenance, particularly if it's in a good area. You see this often happen with buildings that are under uh, rent control where the rents are quite low and you see that the building owner isn't taking care of the property because there isn't a motivation to do that. So if you find that and there's a particular opportunity for you to 
to motivate and to turn over those units in order to create some value, then you are able to take advantage of a great opportunity. So I hope you've seen and heard some interesting ways to create value in buildings. Uh, I'm going to encourage you to look at the Property Management Toolbox book and the Filling Vacancies Toolbox book on Amazon. Both books which, which I've written can help you around management and how it can help you on creating more value in your buildings. Have a great one and we'll see you on the next episode of Get Real Wealthy. Make sure to check out GetRealWealthy.com. Until next time, I'm Quentin D'Souza. Get out there and take action. The views and opinions expressed in this podcast are provided for information purposes only and should not be construed as an offer to buy or sell any securities or to make or consider an investment course of action. For more information, go to GetRealWealthy.com.